Hello everyone, this is Voodoo Robes and Laura here with me today. Hello. Today we're going to show you a very pretty a booty tie that can be called a booty basket, which is a lot of uh, different, different variations of booty baskets. And I'm going to show you mine with Laura, who's got a really nice booty here. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, you will need either one very long rope or two regular ropes. Mine are eight meters long each. Oh, actually, no. These ones are six meters long. And uh, I will show you how you can burn the extra rope that you have that you don't need anymore. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Before we start, I want to introduce another great tool for learning. For some of you, Shibari is a tool to diversify your love life. I am here to help you with that. But you can find more tools to explore on a platform called Beducated. For example, last class my partner and I were exploring was Tantric Dates. It was really lovely, it helps us get even closer. You know, I have been in love with this sex education platform for a while and for a reason. It helps to bring people together and helps them learn about our own bodies. They have a lot of courses for vulva owners and for those who want to please them. It teaches you actual techniques how to do it. So a lot to try and play with. You can start from stuff like sensual dance or explore erotic massage course and then move to things like G-spot massage and other hands-on techniques. Bedicated provides a library of online courses that you can watch at your own pace. There are over 80 courses and they continue growing. The courses range from kink practices to relationship tips and more. And don't forget that you can use my special code FUDU that will give you one day free and 40% off the annual subscription, making it only $10 per month. If you don't like it, there is a 14 day guarantee that you will have your money back. But I assure you, you will enjoy this platform. Remember the code FUDU for 40% off. All right guys, so uh, here, we're going to start with one rope that we're going to tie in the front. I know you like to see this, but first we're going to see the front. We're going to take your ends of the rope, put them together, and then find the middle. Keep the ends in your hand while you are finding your middle. Then we find the middle. And now we're going to find, we're going to put them together and find the middle of the middle. I just don't know the exact right word for it. This is why I call this middle of the middle. And then we place this somewhere on the middle here on the spine that spot and then we need to tie a knot here this can be any knot you want i really like the pretzels or the double coin knots so i'm going to do that one you might want to check out one of my videos where i am showing how to do this in detail okay this needs to be quite tight, so I'm going to fix this one here. Make all of this nice. All right, so here is your nice pretzel, and then we take these two and put them in the back. And now the pretty part starts. Please show me the, the booty. <laughs> okay, thank you. So now these two lines are going right here following the swimsuit right now. And then the front part again. I'm gonna be turning you a lot today. <laughs> okay. Then we come here. And here we are going to just wrap this around from one side and from another side, as if we were doing a karada. Okay, here we go. And then I'll make them pretty tight, because if this is not tight, it's not gonna hold anything, especially. So for me, this is very easy because Laura has quite a big booty. So her booty holds my ropes, even if I don't tie them very tight. But if somebody was tying me, for example, you need to tie it really tight because 
I don't have a booty like that, right? Okay. But this can be tied on any booty. <laughs> okay, let's go. So here we open this and we wrap the ropes around once. I like your booty. Oh, thank you. Okay, so from here we're going in the back. And let's turn you around again. And here in the back, we need to make an extra layer. So you push this rope somewhere here really tight again and then we go in between the legs so for now i'm just going to fix it right here so it stays this is te temporary here and then another side so you can see that i'm actually making this I'm not just like putting it like this. I'm making this pretty tight. So it, it creates a curve. And that curve is going to help you hold the whole thing. Okay. Let's fix this here. For now, we are going to keep these ones here. Don't do anything with them. And we find another... This time we find just a regular middle. So you had the ends and then you found the middle. Uh, and then now we're going to find the middle of the middle again. Same stuff. And I need your back again. Okay. So here we are going to use this part. This little line here. We need to connect this rope here to the middle. So we are going to put this here under like this. Like this. And then these ropes are going to go in here. Okay, so I'm gonna just catch them and bring them down here. Try not to mess it up while you do it. Okay. So this is a decorative harness. This is why please pay attention to your knots so they're nice and clean and you don't have anything twisted or looking not great, okay? Because we're trying to make this pretty. Please don't suspend on this. Never. This is not a suspension harness. This is just a decorative, beautiful harness that gives you a booty lift. <laughs> okay. So, we're going here. And then we are doing some nodomes here. Okay, nodome number one. These nodomes are going to help your ropes stay in place. So this rope cannot really go lower because this is holding it. And then now, as this rope, I'm going around the leg and I'm, I'm making the final, like the very last uh, rope that's right under the booty it needs to be quite tight too. And then this goes in the front. And then in the front, can I turn you please? I have a choice what to do here. I can bring it to the, to here, or I could just keep wrapping this in the leg and make it and make something interesting in the leg. So right now I'm just going to keep it here in the leg. So I can fix all the all the loose ends later. Okay, so this is here and then let's go back to the other one. Okay, and then this side now. So same thing, no domis, first of all. This goes outside. No domain number one. No domain number two here. So with these ropes here, I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I did a half edge. So I'm going to do a half edge here. To fix it. Just like this. Here we go. And then was this right? That was an aldome. Now it's going around the leg. <laughs> around the leg. And then here, if you don't like the option that was here, we can do a little bit different thing. So this rope is going to go here, here, and there. So we're going to put these two together and make another aldome here.
just like this. And then hair yeah, rope is going in here like this. Then one more here. If you think that this is too many lines, feel free to just not do them and finish it somewhere down there on the leg. And now I'm coming back here to the initial one. And just make it hold here. So from the back, it looks like this. And if you wanted to do the same thing from the other side, and when you come back here, you will need to get that rope, go in here, here, and then here, and then make a bow. So now I'm going to do a different leg. I'm going to make this one different. So this one is going into an adome again, here. I feel like Shakira. A <laughs> little. Thank you, Shakira, Shakira. It is for you haven't seen that well, probably because it was in a spot. Uh oh, it was like a video, pretty funny. Okay, I just, I just need to watch it. All right, nice. Then this, this rope is going here over this one and under this one. Okay, so now we have this situation and I'm just going to put these ropes together and make a little bow here. And again, not everybody likes bows. If you like bows, feel free to use the bows. If not, you really don't need to. Another option here, if we don't want a bow to hide any of our pretty booty, <laughs> then we're just going to keep wrapping this to the front. And in the front, since now I need to finish it, in the front I'm going to make a, a tie here. Tighter, tighter, tighter. All right, nice. Okay, and now these ones, these ones are going to be hidden somewhere here. You can see that she really likes the harness. <laughs> I hope you liked it too, and uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed it, don't forget to, as usual, subscribe, give me this thumbs up and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. You can subscribe to... I don't have any YouTube channel yet, but I will. But I have... But she has sent something way spicier than a YouTube channel that you should check out in the link below here. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye.